Well, hi there, everybody. Happy Saturday. It's May 15th, 2021. What's going on on KenBraverman.com? All kinds of things. Let's talk about them in order today. All right. Today, Saturday, on the 15th, it says 2020 Personal 1040 Tax Simulator. Video update coming today. Well, this is that video update. So, take a look at this thing. Uh, if you have to do your taxes, if you're an American or not an American, you still might have to do taxes for the United States. If you have to do them, you've got to fill out a bunch of questions. There are a bunch of forms. It's called the 1040, and there are so many other forms that could potentially be used. I'm not done yet. Not done yet, but I have got uh, a lot of this started. And I'm going to keep working on it today, and there will be further updates. But what it does is it's going to allow you to, as quick as possible, uh, enter in information, enter in dollar amounts for certain categories and questions. It's got all the forms that you're hopefully going to have to need. And when you enter, enter in amounts, you know, what were your Social Security benefits? Were any of those taxable? Maybe, maybe not. Did you have a capital gain? You're going to go to a Schedule D. All these questions in here, they all relate to many other forms and different questions. So I, I'm compiling all of these different forms so that it's as easy to enter in information as possible. You can see there's there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of questions, many of which you won't use. So why is this going to be helpful? Well, when it's all cleaned up and it's all done, you end up with a lot of colors. Colors like the black cells mean that uh, there's a formula in there and you don't have to do anything. You just have to type in the clear cell, you know, the clean, the, the uh, White background cells, these ones are the only ones you're going to need to type in. Pink ones means that, it, that it's not supported yet, so I haven't done a form for the Schedule EIC, the Earned Income Credit, the Additional Child Tax Credit. These are all forms I'm going to add in later, but there's a functional version of this that can go out before all those supplemental forms are done. Because you could still enter in the amounts here, you just don't have another form to go to in this file. What you end up getting when you're done with this is something really cool. It's a, basically a table of your return that you'll be able to refresh and open up every single uh, form and the section and then see what the questions were. Uh, you, you can change formatting here so you can e read it a, a little bit easier. And it's going to tell you what the amount was uh, for every single question that you had. So, you know, your, adjust, your adjusted gross income is $5,350 in this scenario. Your standard deduction could be all the way up at $24,800 because your filing status is, um, is married filing jointly. If it's single or married filing separately, it would change. And you'd go back here and you'd refresh and everything would change automatically. And so I'm going to format this whole table to be as easy as possible to browse through your return just look at certain forms, see what each form was and what you had. It's going to pop up like this. Everything's dynamic and connected. So as soon as you want to go back and change anything on any one of the forms or you want to import information, because um, you're also going to be able to import like bank transactions and sort them and have them sift appropriately in here on something like a Schedule C or a, a business income return or anything. You'd be able to do all that. I, I'm, it's taking a while, but it is going to get done. And it's really going to be awesome. I mean, I think it's going to be one of the coolest things to simulate your return. It'll be helpful for people filing an extension this year. You know, you got to do that by Monday, and, and they want you to pay them what you think you're going to owe. So running a simulation and something like this is going to be really helpful. So I'm going to keep working on this, and I'll start doing videos about the main 1040. And then I'll do sub videos about each schedule to talk about how to fill them in here. Because you'll just be able to browse and um, and go to a certain schedule and then just fill out that schedule right here. Uh, so it's going to be very, very, very awesome. That is what I'm working on today. Already finished some other work today, though. Uh, let's go back to the list on KimBraverman.com here. What do we have? Stock market targets is next. Haven't done a video on this today, but would like to say that Friday was a pretty darn good day for the stocks that we follow. Uh, I have this... This is all the list of stocks that uh, that I have target prices on, which means I think that all these companies are good and really you could buy them, but it's better to buy them when 
they're much lower than the target price I have set for them. Uh, Moderna, Vaccine Talk, all things predicted, they're up like 7.6% on Friday. Tesla makes a little recovery. Um, the, always interesting news coming out of them. It's still my favorite stock, although Moderna right now is. I'm actually going to go get the Moderna vaccine. I hadn't gotten vaccinated yet. I'm going to do that, and I'm doing Moderna because I, I just love the way that they craft their vaccines and like the efficacy and all that other stuff. So that they, they're going to crush it. They're going to keep doing it. Um, uh, every single thing was up. Is that right? Wow. Every one of our stocks was up. Even Sherwin Williams and managed to be up three pennies, uh, to, to make it a full 10 and 0 on Friday. I am thinking about moving Schrodinger off this list just because I'm not happy with their profitability and, even though I also like the way they craft things, Moderna's really crushing it right now. So doing what Schrodinger's trying to do, their competitors are also doing it very well. So I'm, I'm going to think about moving them off and replacing them with another company on this top 10 probably next week. Uh, Google had a nice recovery day. If we look at this by, by uh, companies that did the best on Friday, it was Moderna, Schrodinger, Tesla, Chipotle, Al, Google, everybody, 2% days. So that was good. All right, so that's stock update. What else we got on here? NHL algorithm. That's right. What is this? Open up this image in a new tab. And you'll see that there's playoffs today. Playoffs? That's right. It's playoffs. It's Caps playing Boston tonight. Unfortunately, I'm a Caps fan, and the algorithm says Boston's going to win. So, son of a gun. It says it's going to be like a 3-2 game or 4-3 game if this is tied something 3-3. Uh, I think these playoff games usually get some lower score games, so I wouldn't be surprised to see a 3-2 game there, 2-1 game even. Um, but, yeah, w Washington had some weird stuff happening with players lately, and it does say they've won 67% of their games in the last 15 days. I'm surprised at that. I didn't think, think they were playing that well. But look at Boston dropping a little bit too. Interesting game here. Super close game. The other one's the game where there should be some goals, even though it's not a playoff game yet. It's the first time I've ever seen this, where there's playoff and non-playoff games going on at the same time. Thank you, COVID. Um, so Dustin Edmonton puts up more than four goals, four or more, and wins this game like 4-2 or something. So, oh yes, the other thing. So there is there is a file online. Do I have it in here? Yeah, so this file here, this is the NHL algorithm file. And you can store this thing online and I can share it with you. And uh, that's what I'm going to offer now as a subscription to this is if you want access to this every day as the playoffs are running, because sometimes there'll be different goalies that are going to play. And what you need to do is you actually have to change the goalies right here. Like, for example, if Vanacek doesn't go and it ends up being Samsonov, what you can do is you have to grab their name uh, from the list. So Washington's goalies are down here. And let's say that Samsonov goes instead of Vanacek or something. If you put Samsonov right here, then you're going to end up getting a change in score, actually. So you can see how that changes right here. This game right here, it was just 2.9, 2.7. If you put Samsonov in there, it becomes 3.2 to 2.7. And it more you know favors Boston more. Well, what if we take Tuka Rask out and we put the other goalie in for Boston and we leave Vanacek in there? Another boss, we have Halak or Swayman. Swayman actually played pretty well last time I saw him play the other night. Uh, but you put in Halak and, and here the Caps win now. Flips the game around and the Caps are supposed to beat Halak. How about Swayman? See what happens if the Caps go up against Swayman instead. Here, replace Halak with Swayman and refresh. And we've got even more in favor of Washington winning this game. So super cool ways to, um, let's put Tuka Rask back in there because that looks like who's going. Super cool ways that you can change this around and there's going to be a lot of games going on. So... Uh, if you want access to the live file so that you can do this yourself and we can mess around with it on the fly and put in more correct odds and things like that, uh, because I don't update it all the time, you can help update it. And, and that's what I'm providing some access to. That's like 50 bucks for the rest of the season and you'll have access to it all the way through the playoffs. So good luck, everyone go caps, even though algorithm says no, <laughs> I say yes, but I'm always wrong. 
never trust me and always trust the algorithm. All right. Good luck, everybody. Maui Prince be winning.